Oh, yeah, I don't really know. Disclaimer, we're not going to name any no. names of companies or anything, but we'll just, yeah, yeah. we will tell you the full story. But... Yeah, it breaks the bank, it breaks your spirit. This wasn't the motor that should have been in the truck. Waiting for an engine. Alright, so we've had a lot of questions about our truck breakdown. Yeah. And to be honest, it's probably the first time since being on the road for nearly three years that we've felt completely defeated. Yeah, I suppose we did it first, but... Yeah. We're happy ending in the end. So yeah, yeah, well we actually we made... Get yeah, I was going to say, we actually made this video like a week ago, but thought we would redo it. Yeah. Um, yeah. To explain from start yeah, to finish. Yeah, so we're pretty defeated obviously. 120k South Cooper PD broke down. I thought it was like an ECU sort of wiring issue because like the truck just, like the whole dash turned off. There was no- it's lost all power. Yeah, there was no like odometer reading, nothing on the dash, no lights. So I sort of, yeah, pulled up and you know, I thought, oh, something's gone wrong here. And I you had some work. You can usually get it going again. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I usually, um, yeah, not only that, but I just had some work done on the truck like two days before in Adelaide. So I thought maybe they had the ECU out and they sort of bumped, you know, the harness or something like that. And it's just something simple, like that's honestly what I thought. Um, so yeah, we sort of stuck there for about 36 hours, I think, or something like that, close to it, day and a half. Um, in that 36 hours, we were ringing tow trucks, or we rang Cooperpedia to start off with, and yeah. they refused to tow it because they had a small tow truck. Then we got quotes for Alice Springs and... Uh, Adelaide and they were between six grand and eleven grand. That's even before you start even thinking about fixing it. Yeah. At this stage, we didn't know what was wrong, so um, yep, we ended up getting flat towed into Cooper PD. Yeah, forty then... k's an hour, yeah, hundred twenty k's. Yeah, so that was fun. So one way to uh, save on your fuel economy. Well, we got in and some nice people come and picked up the van and took you and the kids. Yes. So yep. that was yeah, that was good. If you want to follow them, can we hack a lap on yeah. Instagram? Yep. Tegan and Ian, massive, massive thank you to you guys. Yep. And um, yeah, anyway, so they come picked up the van just as a tow truck. So I started getting flat towed and Nanine's Ian was a bit of a diesel mechanic. Said, oh, I'll get it to the caravan park because I was just going to take it to the mechanics. But in saying that, I sort of wanted to come to the caravan park because I got the bikes and some stuff on it that I wanted to take off and just knew that that was safe and yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, here we are we're in the caravan park at Cooper Pedy. Um, yeah. So what's happened is um, I sort of half pulled it apart just for curiosity. I pulled some stuff off it. It's going to have to come off it anyway. But um, just out of curiosity, got me have why why this went wrong. So I just what happened? yeah. So what's going on here? See. There's meant to be a nice, uh, meant to be a chain that comes down from lower and wraps around there, which I found half of it. You know, there's half of it. You can see, um, oh, come on. And you can see that that snap there, lost the linkage there as well. So I don't know, you know, really don't know what's actually going wrong. Well, we know it snapped the chain. Yeah, so that's where we're at. So yeah, we're a bit, I suppose you'd say, defeated. Not overly happy. Um, nah, the truck's meant to have 50,000 Ks. Uh, we've discovered something else since I bought this truck. I bought it second hand with 28. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll let that run its course and get into that later. So I've ordered a motor. You know, when I say defeated, it's not cheap. Uh, it's on its way here. Uh, tried to get someone to put the motor in, no luck. Hopefully I've got onto a person that will loan me their workshop and some tools and you know, obviously for a cash price, everything you know, everything out is dear, but I'll do it myself. Um, so as you can see, like I've pulled the front fan off, that's why there's a big hole in here. Front fan, the shroud, just all your, your piping and stuff, so really, um, I'll stop there just because, yeah, what we found out. So we're just waiting on some answers and go from there. But I don't know what you do. Like, it's, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I don't really know. A bit defeated, you know, especially we just stopped and work for a few months. And uh, then, you know, you get 2,000 kilometres and this happens and, yeah, breaks the bank, breaks your spirit. Yeah. Just sucks. Uh, anyway, what do you do? You roll with the punches and just do what you can. Make it work. So the travel community is pretty good in regards of that. Everyone's been pretty nice. Uh, hopefully by the end of this week I get an engine and I've worked out where I can do it and you know, or someone to do it. Do it myself if I have to because I'll have it in and out in a day or two. But we'll wait on these other answers. Just, uh, I don't know what you say, what do you do? You don't let it get down, you laugh about it I suppose and just roll the punches. The bank won't like it. Um, yes, work sort of last three months for nothing early. But that's life. Just fix it, move on. So, got it towed to the caravan park, and then, at, well, about half hour into it, we sort of, yeah, realised it snapped the timing chain. So then there was a lot of phone calls. That was like late at night, not late, but six o'clock, you know, you can't ring anyone that, at that stage. So we realised we already knew by then. Snap timing chain, we've pretty much, you know, these motors are interference motor so snap time and chain you know usually bend valves and, and vice versa so it was more than just put the time and chain kit on it and stuff like that so it's probably like worst case scenario at first we just thought it was a sensor uh, you know after we eliminated the ecu for fuel eliminated that that was all me on the side of the road but yeah got it here realize that so then started the phone calls of um trying to get a new engine well no started off we were actually the truck only had well, it's only right now got 48,000 kilometres on it. Um, so long story short, we, we bought the truck. Um, it's now on its third motor, the one I've just put in. Disclaimer, we're not going to name any no. names of companies or anything, but we'll just, yeah, yeah, we will tell you the full story, but we're not naming any the, names. We bought the truck with 28,000 Ks on it. Um, it yeah. From Whether, the dealership? Yep. Yeah. Whether or not... It has twenty eight or well, had twenty eight thousand Ks when we got it. Uh, is the story for it? But look, yeah, the signs in there. Everything was brand new inside, but apparently it got dirty fuel in it, and they swapped the engine out. Um, you know, just before they sold it. So basically, done an engine swap. They said it was another low kilometre motor. Um, sort of, I'd say luck for me because I already at this stage, um, by the time I found out this. I had already ordered a motor because we went through the warranty thing and then talking to some friends, like, oh, it's going to take months and vice versa, cut your losses, you know. If you don't get approved, you'll be up for a $10,000 tow bill to get it done. So I already had ordered a motor, but then, yeah, found out that this wasn't the motor that should have been in the truck. This, this actually was registered with a different engine number. Uh, when I paid for the truck, the invoice, different engine number. So, yeah, I got onto the dealer and um he was yeah. very accommodating yeah look he was Not just as dumbfounded as me i had to send him you know a couple of things but within 24 hours basically we're working for a solution um on you know did he want to take the truck back and yeah for me i already have too much in that truck like canopy and a lot of work you know it's, it, it's our home in some sort of way or it's our so yeah i had a yeah a lot of you know i was like well, no i don't i don't want you to reimburse me for the truck um let's work through the issue so what ended up happening though is basically end up compensating us for the cost. yeah for the cost of the engine look probably worked out that maybe a thousand dollars out of pocket but that's better than being 15 to 20 25 grand out of pocket so from a thousand dollars out like that that was it worked out pretty lucky but yeah it's a big long-winded story i think i've spent like five days on the phone like and i mean oh, yeah. constantly ringing this 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 organizing stuff organizing freight took me back to when i was operations manager and i tell you what i don't miss it it this is the funny part when the dealer had rang the company it was on consignment so he had no foul play in it he had sold the truck on behalf of another company so he had it on consignment he got his commission um so yeah with him going back and forth and he acted pretty quick so like i, I within 24 hours within 24 hours i pretty much had a yeah we've come up with a resolution and had payment within 24 hours yep. like we were all both happy both parties were happy um cannot fault them whatsoever. yeah offered offered the world really of what he could do what he couldn't and you know it's pretty dumbfounded obviously they admitted to swapping the motor 
They reckon they put a low kilometre motor in it. Um, and they didn't think they had to tell anyone. Yeah, they didn't about think they had to tell anyone. They basically, yeah, brand new truck, so they said, got dirty water, or well, dirty fuel, which was yeah, full of water basically, a gut load of water, and it, it basically yeah, wrecked the first motor. Um, so yeah, then they put this one in, swapped it out, and sold it, but they didn't you know, re get it certified with that engine number in it. Um, you know, come across a really, oh, through the caravan park here, just you know, asking questions. Being a small town, it's really like who you know. Yeah, I've got to. The gotta, more we got the story out, the more we kind of, everyone was handing out phone numbers. Yeah, and trying to help in one way, yeah. you know. Yeah. All right, so I'll do a bit of a quick update. I might actually record some stuff today. But um, we towed it into the place I found in Kubapiti. Um, yeah, and a place I found to do it, so forever thankful that I've got a spot to do some stuff. But yeah, so I've started, um, I've pulled all the engine cover out. This is where we're at, all the radiators out. Um, I've started pulling hoses and wiring, so probably got a couple of hours and then I'll hopefully have this out today, fingers crossed. So yeah. Very painful, but anyway, once you start pulling stuff out, it actually yeah, makes a pretty good opening, so happy days. Pulled the old engine out, that took yeah, a day and a half, maybe two days, because we ended up pulling some stuff off the old engine, but we sort of like, cleaned a lot of stuff up. When, when I pulled the engine out, like, yeah, you know, you got oily residue and all that in the inner cooler, so I cleaned all that, flushed the radio, just everything I could do. But, that's how the truck's sitting. We've taken the diff out of it, rolled it back, pulled the tyre off the other side, because we had to drop the engine straight down. You can see where we dropped it on the tyre and dragged it out. But, it is, the old engine's out. That job's done. It wasn't too bad, to be honest. I left one gearbox bolt in. Here's the engine. We use that big loader there with a the big tine on it. So yeah, here's the old engine. And then, you know, to add to the excitement, go get the flywheel undone and the strips one. So like, yeah, I love life. life Another life update, we strip this. So turbo off, alternator, engine mounts. Did try the injectors, um, yeah, I think they're staying, like you can see how much moisture, that's just one of the brackets to hold the injector down, but anyway, we are waiting for an engine. Sort of waited four days for the engine to arrive and it got here on a Tuesday, I knew it was in Adelaide on the, on the Friday. Oh yeah, so I just walked out the front of the caravan park in Cuba Pedy, got me coffee. My engine's meant to rock in today. Fingers crossed that all the parts are there with it. But uh, I thought I'd walk out the front because the freight company's like up there through the fog, you just can't see. And I was hoping to see all the doors open. I was going to go up there, but I might go finish my coffee and uh, go for a ride. See if my engine's made it. All right. Well, that worked out all right because there was my extra parcel I added Friday. The engine's there, we're just going to see if the, someone's there to use the loader, they're going to drop it off for me, so we'll quickly run down. Like it when a good plan comes together. It hasn't come together yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, all the parts are there, so that's the, that's the main thing. Start. I got a bit worried because I couldn't see that bloody flywheel and the bolts sitting on the engine I was like oh no can't really do anything unless we have that but they was sitting on the table waiting to go well the plan did come together we've uh, managed to sweet talk old mate over here in that truck the little flatbed there into delivering the engine so we'll go wait down there now all right so we've unboxed the new engine or we're about to we've unwrapped it this bad boy. So it's got 15,000 Ks on it. Um, it sort of rolled in the thing. I might have done a pretty good job of pallet from it, but yeah. Anyway, that's the engine. We've got a new clutch, CD, flywheel and bolt. And this is the old one. Look at it. Look at the difference. This is this is meant to be, you know, have 50,000 kilometers on it. I reckon they're dreaming. Well, we know they're dreaming. So anyway. Time to get into it. Fun. Oh, 
Oh, we got the engine in. It will pretty rush to get it in and out. As you can see, got this nice big front end loader, big slipper, straight through the door of the truck. We had the endless chain. We have another chain across the top of the motor. You can see we bent this part up here, but I'll whack that down. But that's how the motor went in. We literally just got it sitting on the engine mounts. We buttoned it up. It was a bit of pain in the ass that we got there. So, yeah. All right, we're back here on Wednesday morning. It's a week since I broke down. No, two weeks. Um, that's what we got up to last night. Engine in, radiator, in a cooler. So we've still got like radiator hoses to do and some wiring, not much. Plumb some stuff up, but um, that's all in there. Still got to put a diff under, and but anyway, got a bit of work to do under there. All right, hey, so we've um, we've well, there goes that primer. So that's good. That's what I've been waiting for. Um, we had to change the fuel sender in it just because I actually broke it when this broke down, thinking it wasn't getting fuel. So we just primed the system. We swapped all that out. We've got the motor in. Um, the only thing we don't have hooked up is the intake pipe because I cleaned the radiator out So I want to make sure there's no water in the intake like in the in a cooler So I've left that off off to the side so it doesn't go under me turbo and into me intake I've turned the key on and off ten times So this is the this is the magic moment Like a glove That's gonna let it run now and Get a bit warm. Nice and quiet. Yes. It's got a little, I don't know what that little noise is, but I don't think it's anything weird. I think it's just the motor sounds that you can actually hear it. The other one you couldn't hear anything. So I was actually, I was actually surprised I didn't get a, a good airlock in it. So 13.6 volts. 700 RPM. Everything seems to be working anyway. So far, I'm just going to let it idle. I think. Um, yeah, I'll let it idle for a bit. Let it get a bit warm, and well, the old engine swap went a little bit easier than I thought. <laughs> just join a cold beer because we're officially finished. All that together. It actually drove out of its spot. Um, everything's back on it. Logan just spent like how long cleaning the interior? Uh, almost, almost three hours. Oh, oh. Almost three hours. Yeah, you done a pretty good job, I reckon. So yeah, we even put yeah, put some new parts on there. Got some new floor mats. Got a pile of waste in the back, but yeah, we'll be ripping it back home soon. Well, by bit. Two o'clock Wednesday, the truck was up, running, driving, um, no issues. It started straight up. I couldn't believe it. We're just really lucky that you're knowledgeable enough. You've grown up around cars and doing yeah, this yeah, cars so and stuff that you could do it yourself. Yeah, build a few cars with the old man in the time. So pulling engines and out, actually rebuilding engines, um, gearboxes, and yeah, the yeah, my uncle rebuilt an automatic gearbox with my uncle, and yeah, so like really lucky. I, I suppose in a way, a lot of people you realise don't know how to do that sort of stuff. So. We couldn't have like we couldn't have done all of this. Obviously, um, Tegan and Ian have been amazing. The caravan park have been so accommodating. One thing we should add in is where we're staying, which is the big four in Cooper PD. Um, they've been pretty, well, more than accommodating, haven't they? Like, mm. we just rang them up and said, "Look, we're getting towed in. Don't know when." They're like, "Oh, we'll be coming after hours. Just find a spot and we'll sort it all out the next day." Yeah. And um, given us a spot for the truck to park on, which is like a powered campsite. Not that we need that, but there was the only sort only of place, place you could get it sort of get. towed in and leave. Um, you know, not only helpful that. Helpful with contacts and numbers. Yeah, and where offered to go. a offered a yeah a, a ute to if we need to go. Yeah, if we need something. to go into town. Yep. Um, you know, when the workers aren't using or whatever, we can help. You know, they're like so big. Big thanks to them too. They're more than accommodating and yeah, can't really thank that enough. They've been wonderful. Yeah, not their problem, but they're more than. Yeah, happy, well, to, happy help. to help. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tanya uh, yeah. The, with the yard has been awesome, and Trev from Dive Doing Oz yeah. helped you do the whole. Yeah, swap he, he was on his way up north um, and pulled in, and I said to him, "Oh, don't hang around. I'll I'll do it." You know, 
all right, my issue. And no, he stayed around basically. Got the engine in and knew it was running. And yeah, so he's, he's on his merry way. We end up staying another night here tonight just to sort our stuff out, not rush it. Haven't really relaxed. Um, but yeah, like not only that, but yeah, you know, you've got those people that yeah, you know, were a massive help. But then people I was on the phone to chasing an adventure, you know, talking to salute. A lot of a lot of different people. Your parents, my parents, uh, just bouncing ideas and yeah, I had a lot going through my head at one point I was about to put the truck on on a tow truck because I could have got a back load um, back to Adelaide or something like that and go do it down there where I knew I had somewhere to do it um, obviously that would have been more money but yeah end up staying here and went right I will stay as a family stay together just sort of whatever time it takes it takes but yeah I didn't really want to do the engine swap uh, <laughs> it wasn't hard don't get me wrong but yeah it's, wasn't ideal, not with what we've done, but... And not I, where you were. I always said if what I've got doesn't get me out of trouble, then we're, we're in trouble, yeah. so... Yeah. Proof goes to that. But from what we thought was going to be, well, going to cost us 15, 20, 25 yeah. grand... Yeah, I think that's why we redone the video, because at that point when we're saying that, like, that's a lot of... We do look, and I will put, like, a little clip, we do look very defeated in the other videos. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I've told you that we've got to do another one. But it could have been... You know, it could have been a really bad situation for us. Yeah. But it, the best case scenario has worked out. Like, yeah. And it's just been, yeah, amazing. And it's been because of all these helpful people that we've come across and your skills yeah. and just resilience, basically. That's it. can get through. I mean, I don't know what made me check the engine number, but I just, I had my suspicions, I suppose, since I've had that truck. And... Yeah, um, I actually was pretty surprised because I said to this, "Oh, well, we already knew, we're, you know, we already bought the engine and and chilled before. I, yeah, this was I bought the engine before I realised that was something was wrong there. Um, so we already had time to process that loss of money. Like, um, so yeah, it's, it's a big chunk. Yeah, we had time to process that, and then when that happened, I was like, oh, well, I'm prepared to fight for the next six months with lawyers and solicitors and." And yeah, to get me cost covered, and that's where I say that the bloke I bought the truck from basically backed his business and said, "Yeah, it's a big yeah. issue. Um, so you know, how, can, yeah, how can I help you? What 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 do you want? And where are we at? And yeah, you know, a couple of phone calls, and he's obviously talking to the person he sold the truck for, the company. We couldn't have asked for any. Yeah, so now better. I'm sort of helping him too because when well, I yeah sent him photos of the engine number, the date on the engine, um, because now he's having that fight with the company, so. I, in a way, I'm sort of thankful it's not me, but I feel sorry for him because he's done no wrong. Um, the company's admitted, hey, yeah, you know, they've done the wrong, but I don't know how he's going yet. I haven't really touched base for a few days because I've been busy getting the motor back, but... We couldn't have asked for any better outcome. Yeah, yeah really. Yeah. Um, but other, now, than, other than that, if anyone breaks down in Cuba PD, <laughs> give, me, give us a shout-out, uh, like, call... Cool. Hit us up because I'll give you freight companies and how it all works. Like I know the ins and outs now. Like I can tell you their times cable, what company to put it with, yeah. mate. I'm yeah, geez, it's like I'm a local now. But I'll um, tell you what, we're not the only ones because the amount of times that a tow truck is coming to this caravan park since we've been. I've said that over the last sort of you know, week or so, and um, I said it's like a Bermuda Triangle here. You see so many people, you know, break down and stuck here. Everyone said that, you know, oh, you're stuck here now. You'll get a job and you never leave. Um, I didn't question how long I'd be here if I should start working just for something to do, but I didn't yeah. do that. No, I yeah, sorted everything out. But but no, but from here, where are we going? We're going north. Yes. We need to get out of these jumpers. Yeah, we, well, I'm, in, <laughs> I'm in jumper and trackies. Like, I think I had the jumper off today, but I was still in trackies. We when need I was... to get to warmer weather. Yep. And I still don't think that I've replied to everyone, but I do. We appreciate oh, Over all our stories, we'll getting inundated with messages asking if we were okay and if people could do anything. Yeah, and people offering so, advice. Was, yes. Yeah, yeah like, oh, really you good. know, do this. You know, so that, that was all thankful because, yeah, we, well, we... Got us to the next stage. Yeah, that's the next right. Stage. That's right. <laughs> sort of something else. Oh, yeah, right, oh. So, yeah, no, it worked out really well. Um, yes. So we want to thank everyone. We want to thank all those people in particular as well and keep watching because our travels are not over. This isn't going to kill us. Mm. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. That's right. Just roll the punches and get a good story out of it at the end of the day and just keep on trucking. That's it. We'll always remember Cooper Peavy from now on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely gonna yeah, definitely gonna have a, a, a soft spot on us now, but yes. hey, you know what? The community around here 
all the people we were dealing with and, and vice versa was, was amazing. yeah amazing so yeah. but hopefully you're going to see me next with a beer in my hand at daily's waters with no jumper on no jumpers <laughs> working on me summer tan in winter yeah so stay tuned for the next video yep